Today's topic is the OB Peacock Cichlid, and in particular, we're going to talk about tank mates that you can keep with the OB Peacock Cichlid. That's a lot to say. Um, so here's the deal. OB Peacock Cichlids, they're super colorful. They're considered hybrids. You know, there's a lot of controversy surrounding, like, keeping them. Some African cichlid keepers love them while others hate them. Um, but OBs are known to be, like, super aggressive. And I guess the idea of keeping other fish with them comes up because obviously we all kind of want to have like a community style aquarium where, you know, our fish have other friends to swim with. I'm going to be honest with you. In my personal experience, I haven't kept a ton of African cichlids. And the reason is because they're just so damn aggressive. It's like they have three goals on this planet. One, to breed two to sleep and three to just kill each other and you may think i'm crazy for saying that but after owning african cichlids for like a year or so you're gonna be like yep he was right all right all right all right i'll get to the point i just wanted to kind of like personify like how aggressive african cichlids are and obp ob peacock cichlids are no exception so the best tank mates for the ob peacock cichlid are going to be other African cichlids. And for the most part, what you have to do with an African cichlid aquarium is to stuff it full of uh, as many African cichlids as you can. I like to tell people, think of the African cichlids as being like criminals and you're putting them in a jail cell. If you have one or two of them, or three of them, they're going to kill each other because they can single one out and just attack. But if you have 30 of them, they're also nervous and kind of scared that they sometimes kind of just do nothing and they mind their own business. That being said, the number one tank mate or the best option of a fish to be kept with your OB peacock cichlid is other African cichlids. You can, uh, you know, there's a lot, lot of debate on keeping different types of African cichlids together. I, I have had success keeping them all together. Um, you know, some of them grow larger than others. That's kind of the big variable you have to watch just because you don't want a 12 inch fish being kept with a three inch fish because obviously it's going to get eaten. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. Tank mates for African cichlids, it's tough because these guys kill everything in their sight. So the best option is going to be more African cichlids. That's why you see so many African cichlid tanks just full of Africans because it's essentially all you can really keep. Um, two other tank mate ideas are going to be maybe the Cynodonis catfish just because it's a catfish that likes to hide and it has an armored shell to where if the cichlids were to go after them, you know, they have protection. And the last option for tank mates is dither fish, you know, silver dollar fish, tetra fish, sometimes rainbow fish. Those work as well. So yeah, guys, there's not a lot of options for keeping tank mates with your OB peacock. Um, you know, African cichlids are tough and that's why you see a lot of like species only African cichlid aquariums. And, uh, it sucks, but yeah, let me know in the comment section if this helped you at all. My top three tank mates were other African cichlids, the Cynodonis catfish, and possibly dither fish, like silver dollars, tetras, uh, white skirt tetras, black skirt tetras. Like, tetras are so fast that they can't be caught. Um, and maybe rainbow fish, you know, or like giant danios. It's just, uh, that's getting into weird territory, though. I don't really feel confident on that one, but you could trial it. I don't know. It gets scary with African cichlids, guys. Hit up the comment section. I love hearing from you guys. I'm going to start working on some tanks and get my butt off the couch.